WNDS Sports and the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association present Candlepin Stars and Stripes, featuring the best Candlepin bowlers from all over New England. And now in our 13th award-winning season, your hosts for Candlepin Stars and Stripes, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon, and welcome once again to Candlepin Stars and Strikes. As always, we come to you from Park Place Lanes here in Wyndham, New Hampshire. So glad to have you with us. Doug Brown, along with Dan Murphy. If you were with us last week, you saw Chris Sargent become the second qualifier for the Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions coming up in the spring as Chris won his third match in a row. Today, Dan, we begin our uh, new series, new four-week series, with five bowlers, five new bowlers, and I mean new this time. Yes, all new to us here. Three of them have made appearances on the Skin Show, but none of them had made appearances here on the singles. All right, let's meet our two bowlers for today's show as we kick off this new series. Our number five seed from Derry, New Hampshire, is Dave Arsenault. Okay, Dave comes in averaging 120, high single 189. His roll-off score 632. And Dave is one of those guys who has been on the uh, Skins program very recently. In fact, earlier this year, just a couple weeks back, not that long ago for Dave. But this is his first appearance on the singles program, and he'll be taking on another first-timer, our number four seed from North Springfield, Vermont, Craig Abbott. Okay, Craig averaging 119, high single 159, his roll-off score 647. All right, let me give you a few more numbers here before we take our first break. Our bonus ball contest at the end of the hour is up to $40 this week as we had a winner a few weeks back. And our triple strike jackpot is now up to $650. We will have three games of candlepin bowling to determine our winner. It'll be Dave Arsenault against Craig Abbott, and we will start the match right after we roll these messages. Don't go away. There is power in a dream, and every hour a dreamer is born. Just imagine the friends we made, the lives we Everyone at Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire is very proud and excited to again be a major sponsor of Stars and Strikes. We feel that over the years, you, the bowling enthusiast, have become a very important part of our family at Rockingham. And as such, I promise that we will live up to our pledge that we will provide you the best service you have ever experienced. And if you're purchasing a new or used vehicle, at Rockingham, we pledge that we will beat any bona fide deal on any Toyota, any Dodge, or any Nissan anywhere in New England. So just remember, Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan on Route 97 in Salem, New Hampshire. Simpsons. Because now the Simpsons are on back to back. Yes! It means two times the fun. Excellent. Double the hijinks. I hear you loud and clear. Twice the laughs. Multiple merriment. Everyone's getting excited about the Simpsons. Now with back to back episodes every weekday. Weeknights at 5 on WNDS TV 50, Derry, New Hampshire. Candlepin Stars and Strikes is brought to you in part by Coca-Cola Classic. Always the real thing, always Coca-Cola. Welcome back to Candlepin Stars and Strikes. And as promised, we begin a brand new four-week series. Here are the five bowlers you'll be seeing during these four weeks. We've already introduced you to Craig Abbott and Dave Arsenault, who will be battling today. The winner of this one gets Keith Digio next week. Rich Moran is here in two weeks. And our number one seed will be here in three weeks' time to 
try and defend that number one spot is Chris Grimes. But uh, a lot of ground to cover before then, and Dave Arsenault is ready to start this match and this series here on Stars and Strikes. By the way, the uh, final roll-off for this series was held at the Lakeside Lanes in Manchester. I want to thank Roland Bovair and Tim Lipke for handling all the details for us. And uh, beyond the names that you just saw, as Dave Arsenault starts with a spare. Converting on the 710 with help from the wood. Dave Arsenal was the number five qualifier, as you saw on the uh, list a moment ago, with a 632. In sixth place, our first alternate, Rico Baldinelli at 625, and right behind him, Dan Laplume at 624. Almost two in a row, but Dave could not convert. Bad news there is he takes the two fill on the spare. So it's a 10. So Dave Arsenal begins with spare 2 10 for 22. Just like that. Oh. And now our first look at Craig Abbott. Right. There were pins given for the distance traveled here. And yeah. He'd be uh, quite a bit ahead already. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at the 1 3. Eight and ten. Piece of wood behind the one and the three. About a two-hour and 15-minute drive, Craig was telling me before the show, from North Springfield, Vermont, down here to Wyndham. Craig starts with a ten. Craig is self-employed, works as a carpenter, does a lot of his bowling at Sunset Lanes in Newport. Off target there to the left. One, three, six, and eight. Makeable spare with a wood in the back. Wants a piece of that head pin. Got to hurry. Nope. Wants his ball to break from right to left. Really gets underneath and turns the ball over. And that'll be an eight box. So an 18 start for Craig Abbott and the early lead for Dave Arsenal, four pins. Chris Sargent last week joining Paul Berger as the first two qualifiers for the Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions. And it's a nine drop for Dave. Leaving just the eight pin. Piece of wood to the right, which won't help, but the one to the left, uh, he's got a clear shot at it, but if he hits the one to the left, it could come off the wall. Got it. Uh, he goes right after the pin. The eight pin's gone. Second mark for Dave. Both spares, the first and third, as you can see. Moving over to lane 31. Oh, big fill this time for Dave. Had the half Worcester last time, but this time seven. Dave starts on the extreme right-hand side of the approach, right next to the ball return. By the time he finishes, though, he's to the far left. And he's got two marks in a row. Not something I recommend, but certainly works for Dave. Well, certainly over the years, we have seen uh, all of the <laughs> varied styles That's of the different sure. bowlers. And every time you think you've seen every different style there could be, you see a new one. On the head pin this time is Craig and leaves the four, seven, and ten. Let's see where the wood settles down. Might give him a chance. That's a tough call. He might have to just have to try to cap it, have the ball take out the ten. But it's not an easy shot. And make it a ten. So 28 through three, but he's opposite another mark coming up here in the fourth. And from this angle, we're sitting a little bit to the left. Actually, if he caught that end of that piece of wood, he might have been able to make that shot. Didn't quite come up to the head pin that time, but he's got a spare leave on the one and two. 
again, watch out for that piece of wood, the cap to the left. It should cover both pins if he misses the cap, though. Yes. There's first mark for Craig. Sure he's happy to get that out of the way. Yeah, that's the first plateau. When you come on for the first time, get that first mark on the scoreboard. It relieves a lot of pressure. Now the next thing is to get a decent fill on it and get your second mark, and you're on your way. Two in a row for Dave Arsenault. This will fill the second spare. And he leaves a two-pin spare opportunity, the two and the four. Yeah, see, he's got a piece of wood flat in front of the two-pin. A lot to shoot at here. Should be three in a row for Dave. It is. And Dave Arsenault has started well here, marking in four of his first five boxes. Dave also, Bell also breaks from right to left. He really turns it over, much like Craig does. Back on the head pin. Wow. That's, that's a strange leave. The, the five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Five fill on the spare. That's a wood to the left. He's really going to have trouble with a six, ten, though. Even with the, playing the wood, he needs some help. Just didn't have the good angle on that piece of wood at all, even for the five pin. But he's got 72 after five boxes. A good start for Dave Arsenault. Make it 79 through six. Craig Abbott, as you see, about to fill that first spare. And he gets a nice drop of eight. Caught the head pin that time on the one two side. Leaves himself the three and five pins left. Try to go two marks in a row. Oh, no. Just missed. Just slid by. And then take it out for the 10. That keeps the lead at 16 for Dave Arsenault, but a chance for Craig to cut into that. Opposite the seven box here. Sliding to the left. Talk about different uh, styles and everything. Watch the grip on Craig you know, when he holds the ball up. Looks like he puts like three fingers up with a thumb in the. No, oh, yeah. Nice spare. I'm going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> with the wood certainly helps, but he was able to kick out the nine pin in the back for the spare. A lot of people ask me, how how should you grip the ball? Same way that you pick the ball up off the ball rack is pretty close. Shouldn't adjust your fingers too much more after that. Three six for Dave Arsenal. Trying for his fifth mark of the first string. All spares. So you don't recommend that knuckleball grip then? Huh? Uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> the pins don't like that knuckleball coming down. <laughs> Slider, maybe. <laughs> Ten box for Dave. Dave Arsenal works as a printer for Crown Cork and Seal Company. Dave has three children, uh, Dave Jr., Alicia, and Brian from Derry, New Hampshire. Just missing oh, the boy, head pin, but look at the break. You might get another one. Well, well, either way, it looks like a pretty makeable shot, as long as he doesn't. Oh, that get wood caught is... up with that front wood. Well, let's see. Oh, he's going to oh, have to now use the front different. wood now. Maybe one to the left, the one that's angled toward the 9 and 10. No, tough shot. Well, let's see if the ball will get over there. Not quite. And a 9. Well, two openings for... Craig Abbott to work on. He's working on a spare, down by 13, and he'll cut into that with his first ball. Oh, missing, missing the head, the head pin, pin, but look at this. Boy, I thought he had a chance at a strike there, the way that three pin and the nine in the back were both rocking. But he does gain 10 pins in that box, opposite the seven. Could take the lead with a spare here. Oh, oh yes. he's got it. 
Seven or more for the lead on the spare now for Craig Abbott. Got the one and the three and a little bit of time for the nine pin. Three pin coming off the right sidewall. Right, right in the pocket. Big nine, nine and a half. <laughs> Craig moved quickly from lane 32 over to lane 31. He's feeling a little warm now, wants to keep throwing. And he's got another one. Three in a row. And you see, regains the lead, or gains the lead. He never had it until this last flurry of spares. Leads by four plus the bonus ball when he gets back up there in the ninth. Dave Arsenal off target. Candlepin Stars and Strikes brought to you in part by Tri-State Megabucks. And now with Mega Cash, choose your dream. Tri-State Megabucks. Oh. oh, almost. Great shot. Great effort by Dave Arsenault. Leaves just the four pin after just knocking down three pins with that first ball. Ten. 108 for Dave with one box to go. A near spare here. Head pin goes down, takes the seven, but leaves the four. Dave had four marks out of the first five boxes. Now he's gone four boxes without one. Still looking for a first strike of the match. Uh-oh. On the head pin, which he was undoubtedly concentrating on, but this time through the middle. By the way, a, a quick reminder now, Dan, that after this series is over and we have our third qualifier for the Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions, we'll move into our annual mixed doubles tournament for four weeks. Oh, oh big nine drop for Craig Abbott. Again, leaves the five pin. All of a sudden, he is banging that head pin, and not only that, he's in the one, two, or the one, three pocket. And another one. Wow. Four in a row, 121. And oh. only 56 at the half. Whatever butterflies there were there are, <laughs> are gone now, I guess. Looking for more, and he gets another nine drop. How close that was that to a triple strike? It's only going to show three spare nines up there, but any luck, he could have had strikes. Which you've been, what, $650 richer if that happened? That's correct. Greg just waiting for that wood. It has moved out in front of the 10 pin, but still looks to be okay. And it is for his fifth mark in a row. And give him 140 plus this bonus ball. Because that computer does not add that ninth frame until we complete the 10th. He's already at 130, 140 in the 10th. Got to hurry with that one. Well, it's going to get a little more than he expected. He might get more. Let's see. No, it'll be just five. So a 145 opening game for Craig Abbott. Outstanding string for the newcomer. And Dave Arsenault, after a fast start, takes a 116. So Craig Abbott with the 29-pin lead. Still two games to go. And details on our bonus ball contest when we come back to Stars and Strikes in a minute. What's so good about the taste of apple cinnamon Cheerios? Mm. It's an apple thing, right? Mm. Definitely the cinnamon. No way, it's the baked in taste. Sliced apples, cinnamon, and brown sugar baked right into every little O of apple cinnamon Cheerios. Baked in taste, that's what makes them good. New Honey Nut Cheerios, and they're all for me. New Honey Nut Cheerios has an even better taste and a bigger crunch. Nobody can say no to the Honey Nut O's and New Honey Nut Cheerios. It's new. Everybody loves this stuff. Honey, how come you don't bake for breakfast anymore? I never baked for breakfast. Yeah, that's right. I'm confusing you with my mother. Didn't your therapist warn you about that? Jeez, so I'd kill for cinnamon bread. It's true, so? Oh, Betty Crocker makes cereal. It's for people like you who crave home-baked taste and wives like me who leave it to Betty. Mmm. Brown sugar, cinnamon, icing swirls. Said it's low in fat. Was your mother's? Nothing my mother made was low in fat. Except for me. New Betty Crocker cereals. <laughs> home-baked taste by the spoonful.
Podcast Weeknight, 4 to 8. Megabucks, once again bringing you the Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions. Coming up at the end of the hour, as always, our bonus ball contest. This week worth $40. You can only win if we have your postcards in our big barrel. And, of course, we only accept regular size postcards. So send them in with your name, your full address, including zip code, and the number from 1 to 10. The number, of course, the number of pins you think will drop on the bonus ball at the end of the hour. And if your guess matches the number of pins that drop, then you win the cash in the jackpot. So be sure and send it into that address, Park Place Lanes, Route 28, Wyndham, New Hampshire, 03087. Of course, you not also you not only win the cash in the jackpot, you also win a brand new set of bowling balls from Paramount Industries in Medway, Mass. You and the bowler will each win a brand new set of bowling balls, which we just gave a couple sets away. That's right. Craig Abbott with a fine finish to game one, a 145, but the story there, Dan, was that he had 89 pins in the last five boxes. Finish with five consecutive spares. Just sliding by the head pin, but boy, he seems to be carrying an extra pin or two on every ball now. Leaves himself the one and the three. Oh, he's going to get it. Nope. No, he's not. <laughs> That's what you meant to say. I thought that would have enough momentum, but it didn't hit it uh, right on the red line. It just hit on the tail end of it and kind of swung around the three pin. So two openings, two open boxes for Dave Arsenal to work on, down by 29. A reminder, of course, next weekend, we will have more great bowling for you here on the Winds of New England. Next Saturday at noon from Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, another edition of Candlepin Skins. And, of course, next Sunday, right back here at Park Place Lanes for Stars and Strikes, the winner of this match against our number three seed, Keith Digio, next Sunday at noon. Spare for Dave Arsenal. Four, seven, and eight. Uses the wood effectively. Clear those three pins out of there. And there you see it. Now the... More important ball is the fill. A little heavy, and let's see, drop of seven. However, it's the two, four, and ten. Move the two pin. Yeah, he's an got inch a, or so. He's got an angle with the wood, but the ball is going to fly. You almost want to slow the speed down of the ball right here. But, oh, oh he, he got it. He played it far left and kicked the piece of wood over there. Nice shot. Actually, threw the two pin over there. Six spares now for each bowler. No strikes yet. Have to change the name of the so show to Stars and Spares if this keeps up. <laughs> well, missed the head pin again that time, but he gets a decent leave and just the one, two pins left. Got it. This Let's time spare. he covers. Mark number seven for Craig Abbott. Right back on the head pin, but this time could not split him apart. It's the three, four, and six. A piece of wood in behind, so if you cut the two pin on the left-hand side, could come off the wall. A little too far left of the three. Try to grab two. That'll be an eight box. So 44 through four. Dave Arsenal working on that spare. He left hanging in the second. This will cut the lead under 20. Oh, in a big way with a nine drop. This is going to be one of those seesaw matches, I think, back and forth. Dave Arsenal started out very well the first five boxes, getting four marks, and then cooled off. Craig came back with five in a row, and now Dave Arsenal has opened the second game with three consecutive spares. Well, maybe Dave made a little uh, correction after game one. Had uh, five open boxes coming into this game, but he's three for three here. Well, <laughs> now we'll see what he can do. 
Spread Eagle, four on the fill. Cut the lead to 15. Oh, oh what a try. Oh. Oh. Great effort. No, oh, and it'll be an eight box. So that brings us to a break. Dave Arsenault has cut the lead just about in half here in the first four boxes. Craig Abbott by 15 as we approach the halfway point. We'll be back with the rest of game two in a minute on Stars and Stripes. Hey, nice bowl of shredded wheat. Yeah, I think so. Well, you could eat total and get 100% of 11 vitamins and minerals. Try to get that from shredded wheat, and you'll have to add more than just milk. Like what? Well, you could try strawberries for vitamin C. Oh, that sounds good. Lima beans for iron, eggs for some vitamin E. you got to be kidding. Some peanuts for niacin, or a nice piece of liver for some B6. I'll try the total. Whole grain total, one bowl, 100%. Hey, don't mm. eat it just for me. Mm. Mm. Introducing new Honey Nut Clusters with a taste everybody will love. New Honey Nut Clusters combines Honey Toasted Flakes and Honey Nut Clusters for a delicious Honey Nutty taste. New Honey Nut Clusters. The taste everybody loves. Everybody. <laughs> the end of your string up, Joey. Joey. We're never going to get this done if you keep on eating the kicks. Kicks is a cereal that's low in sugar with a corn crunch that kids like. Kicks also makes a great decoration. So, how's it look? Delicious. Kicks. Kid tested. Mother approved. A tidal wave of laughs. This is unbelievable. <laughs> is heading your way. Lucky duck. Isn't this exciting? So set sail. <laughs> With the Tanners. Now it's a party. Chart a course for comedy. Give me a kiss. Okay. Not you. I know. And get ready to have a ball. Now you got it. Ride the wave of family fun. It's a deal. On Full House. Weekdays at 4 and 4.30 on WNDS TV 50. Candlepin Stars and Strikes is brought to you in part by Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Candlepin Stars and Strikes is brought to you in part by Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Come to Salem and save. Right on Route 97 in Salem, New Hampshire, Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Craig Abbott with the 5-7. First string, he threw a ball like that, he would have got a nine-pin drop. It's funny how they turn on you after a while. Leaves the 5 7 this time. Piece of wood just to the right of the 5 pin. No. no. Had some things jumping around down there, but. He'll have to settle for an 8 box. Second consecutive 8 for Craig Abbott, who moves now over to lane 31 here at Park Place. The home of Candlepin Stars and Strikes for almost 13 years now. Moving ever closer to our 13th anniversary. Is there a, a particular product for 13th anniversary? I don't think there is. You know, like, like there's silver and diamond and paper and I don't, I don't think it's anything I for 13. Don't know. I haven't done anything maybe for 13 a, maybe years to find seven. out. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, there's a sad commentary, huh? <laughs> Seven box for Craig Abbott, two open frames, so an opportunity here for Dave Arsenal. <laughs> but someday I'll throw away my cane and let you know if there is. <laughs> I, I just, it's 
going to be a while, I think. <laughs> well, you've celebrated your 29th birthday about 13 <laughs> times, haven't you? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Dave Arsenault looking for the spare here on the four horsemen plus the eight. Oh, yeah. That's four out of five again in game two for Dave Arsenault as he starts this game the way he started game one. He's got eight spares now in all. He moves over to lane 31. I would like to mention one person who is uh, an avid fan of both of our shows. In yes. fact, I was told by her uh, daughter-in-law that to tell all her friends and her relatives not to bother her on Saturday and Sunday at noontime. <laughs> and they keep calling her or stopping in. She doesn't want, want oh, that. She wants to that. watch. I hate Don't that when it happens. That? That's no. Louise that. Davis from Bosquine, New Hampshire. She watched the show religiously. Please don't bother her. Saturday and Sunday at noontime. Leave her or leave the poor woman alone That's for right. an hour. Wow. That's right. Give her some peace well, and quiet. Louise, keep watching. <laughs> I'll try to keep them away so they don't disturb you. <laughs> That's great. Well, that's another spare for Dave Arsenault, and uh, it's very possible that he is going to retake the lead when he comes up to fill that spare. Craig Abbott trying to prevent that now. Nope, slides by on the left. Well, it's really something, Dan. You mentioned uh, back and forth nature of this match. Uh, these guys taking turns getting hot right now. That's right. As uh, Craig has cooled off and Dave Arsenal has put a nice stretch together. And uh, he will probably take over the lead when he gets up there. Right on the head That's pin this the time. Ball, our first strike. No. The crowd is trying to help it. As close as we've come to a strike all wow. day though. Nine and a three quarter rock. It was defying gravity. Got to hurry with Watch it. Watch out. Oh. Sliding by. And on the other side. So it's a nine box and two more open frames. So if Dave Arsenal throws a three or better here on this spare, he will retake the lead after trailing by 29 coming into this game. That's a very quick comeback. Oh, but There's when you're throwing the ball like that, that's it's a, easy to see. That's his sixth mark in seven boxes. He was open in the fourth, started with three spares, open, spare, spare, strike now. And he is already at 106 plus two balls in the seventh. First strike of the day. And look the, out, oh boy, a that's a double. Well, Dave can think about this for a few minutes, and he'll have a chance at $650 when he comes up next time. Clearing out the five and the eight. Wow. He's going to have a heck of a second game here. Meanwhile, Craig Ouch. Abbott just trying to get himself back oh, on track here. Looked like a decent ball in the one-two pocket, but he leaves himself the, the six and then the four-seven in the left-hand corner. You know, I'd almost grab that piece of wood that's half in the channel. No, he's going the other side. Because mm. that's resting against the sidewall. That would snap the other way. Now, whether it would carry the six pin, we'll, we'll never know now. He's going to shoot at the four-seven, obviously, here. For the nine box. So Craig has gone six in a row now without a mark. And with that double strike up on the other side. Oh, oh there's a strike for Craig him. Abbott. That's a big one right there in the 10th. His first strike of the day, but more importantly, breaks the drought. Of course, we, uh, we forget when Dave Arsenal gets up there, he's got a shot at $650. Likewise, Craig can right. take that away right now with throwing two more. A well, little light on the one two, but decent drop of seven. So he'll be over the hundred mark, but he's going to find himself behind. That wood appears that it's going to stay out of the way when it finally stops moving. But this is a tough shot, even without the wood. And it'll be an eight for a 103 second game for Craig Abbott and a two game total of 248. Well, now a very important ball for Dave Arsenal. Could be a $650 ball if he throws a strike. 
Looking for three in a row. Yeah, off target. Four horsemen plus the nine. Oh, good bid on the spare, but gets a decent nine fill on the second strike. One fifty through nine. And a thirty six pin advantage. Remember, he was down by twenty nine. One box too oh, late. Wow. Timing is everything. Could not come in on the head pin when he was looking for three in a row, but he gets the strike there. That is eight marks out of ten boxes. He was open in the fourth and again in the ninth. 160 plus two balls. Oh, oh that was a pretty good one, too. He'll negate that spare eight put up by Craig Abbott in the 10th frame. Back to gain a pin. 169 for Dave Arsenal. He turns a 29 pin deficit into a 37 pin lead in one game. 285 through two for Dave Arsenal. We'll be back with game three in a minute on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Going gone! These are the final weeks to get top quality furniture at unbeatable prices. Bernard's Furniture is closing its doors forever in just a few weeks. Bernard's is going out of business with a bang. Sofas, kitchen sets, mattress, and box springs. This is your chance to save thousands on quality furniture for your home. Remember, these are the final weeks for huge savings. After this, they're going, going gone! So get down to Bernard's Furniture and Bedding, 655 Mash Road in Tax-Free, Manchester, New Hampshire. Toyota of Nashua, your number one volume discount dealer, is out to shake it up this fall. Come into Toyota of Nashua now and get great lease prices on the 97 Tercel from just $99 a month. Lease the 97 Corolla from just $129 a month. Lease the 97 Toyota Camry from just $195 a month. And lease the tough Tacoma truck from just $119 a month. And if you're looking for a one-of-a-kind used car, Toyota of Nashua has an incredible selection of Toyota certified used cars. Toyota of Nashua, New England Automotive Village on the Daniel Ultra Highway, just one and a half miles north of the Pheasant Lane Mall. Can you guess which cereal will now carry the American Heart Association symbol? The answer shouldn't surprise you. It's Cheerios. A diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol, including Cheerios, may help reduce the risk of heart disease. This Cheerios, made from whole grain oats, is also a good source of fiber. And those delicious O's are low in fat and saturated fat with no cholesterol. No wonder Cheerios carries the American Heart Association symbol. On an all-new Babylon 5. Millions of people's lives are at stake. As the Vorlons escalate their destruction. Attacking any world, any base. Sheridan must make a decision. If the ambassador stays, billions more will die. So we're going to take out the Vorlon. But will he survive his own trap? John! On an all-new. I did the best I could. Babylon 5. Today at 5 on WNDS. Join WNDS weeknights for the WNDS Legal Hour. Starting at 10 with real-life action and drama on Cops. You're making your own lanes now? Yeah. Pull it over. He's moving, boys. He won't run. There they go. He's trying to bail. And then, here come the judge. Judge Judy, that is. Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. I've heard enough. Ready to roll. For all your law-abiding needs, join WNDS weeknights starting at 10 for the WNDS Legal Hour. Dave Arsenal will lead off game three. Misses the head pin, but he'll have something to shoot at here. The one, two, and eight. Dave with that fine 169 middle game. He had five spares and three strikes in that game. And he hasn't forgotten what he's been doing. Starts off with another mark, including, of course, the double strike. It's 10 marks on the last 13 boxes. And another 
Mercy. Strike. My, oh my, is he on fire. Wow. Seems guaranteed of a 400 triple right now. He had 285 coming into this game. Wow. Craig Abbott's got to be wondering a little bit what hit him. Yes. Keeps fighting. The spare up in the first. Just got to try to match marks with Dave, and hopefully uh, Dave will cool off. Unfortunately, there's no defense. Right, right on back. the head pin, oh, but a boy. little thin. And he got no break from the head pin. Went no. off the sidekick and then danced in front of the four pins standing. No playable wood either. Five, six, nine, and ten. Twenty-four through two, but that's going to lose more ground as Dave Arsenault is working on the strike. Oh, look out! Look out! That close to another double. And the spare. Three in a row. He just keeps rolling along. That's 15 marks in 23 boxes now for Dave Arsenal. You wonder what his score would be if he hadn't gone those five boxes in a row at the end of game one without marking. Look out, another eight drop. And when things are going good, things go even better. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the head pin, leaves himself the seven eight, but he's got a makeable spare because of the playable wood out in front. Well, let's see, I would play the one farthest to the right, but let's see what Dave decides to do. There are a lot of different opinions from the crowd, so we'll see <laughs> what Dave decides to do. He's going to go far right, too. Oh, yeah. Well, Four in a row. Everything he does right now seems to work, so. Wow. Again, to the point now where Craig Abbott will have to start thinking about strikes. That was a good looking ball going in there in the one two. It looked like it was nice and tight, but he leaves himself the triangle six nine ten in the right, which isn't bad, but he's also got the seven pin on the far left hand corner. No, nice effort, but he couldn't get that wood over there. That's a nine. Nine box for Craig. Just caught that wood in the channel. Glanced off the wood. Candle pin stars and strikes brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always the real thing. Always Coca-Cola. Eight drop. Be careful again with this piece wood. Of wood. Yep. No, watch out. Ooh. Oh. Just enough, hit the cap, but had just enough to take it out. Dave Arsenal with the lead with six boxes to go here on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Hi, I've been telling you that at Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire, you will find the best price from a dealership that cares. Well, let me tell you what you will find when you get there. First. When we can display Toyota, Dodge, and Nissan at one location, this is a rare opportunity for you to view the best selection of cars, trucks, and minivans in New England. Second, we are constantly adding cars and trucks to our used car inventory. So if it's a new or used car or truck, just remember Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire.
All aboard for fun at Mountain Trains in Manchester. From N-Gage to G-Scale, they carry a full line of trains and accessories. Lionel, Mike's Train House in Williams, along with a complete selection of train books, videos, and starter sets. Mountain Trains is your stop for Thomas the Tank Engine Toys and Shining Time Station videos, and hundreds of plastic models for both beginner and advanced. RC planes, cars and boats, Pinewood Derby headquarters, model paints and tools, drill bits and accessories, all at Mountain Trains, Elm Street, Manchester. Come in for your free Lionel catalog, and don't forget, train sets make awesome Christmas gifts. Before Chess, before Cops, before Rescue 911, the show that started it all. Oh. The blockbuster hit of the 70s is here on WNDS. Emergency. I like you, I like you. Finding the action without the goal. The trickler stands to Tiny red trucks with loud sirens. <laughs> Dances in distress. When did the pain start? You loved it before. You know what you were thinking. You'll love it again. Emergency. Weekdays at 1 on WNDS. Watch Beverly Hills 90210, weeknights at 6 on WNDS TV 50, Derry, New Hampshire. Here are the winning numbers from last night's Tri-State Megabucks drawing. Dave Arsenal working on a spare. This is not a recording. <laughs> well, Someone gave him a wake-up call that second game, said you got to get going, and he oh. is, boy. Oof. He's just been dynamite. Looking for his fifth mark in a row right now. Yeah, it's a makeable one, the 4-7, two pins in the left-hand corner. Hang on, woo, Whoa. slid by the four. At last, a mistake. <laughs> That's only his third open box in the last 15. That's amazing. 86 half here in this third game. He had 93 in the second half of the second game. So over the last 10 boxes, he's had 179 and another nine drop. He's already at 371 with five boxes to go. Another spare. Ho-hum. <laughs> That's number 17. 13 spares, four strikes for Dave Arsenal. Greg Abbott working on a spare in the fourth. Again, on the head pin. Not getting the strikes, though. He's had one the last frame, I believe, in the second game. Triangle, three, five, six, trying to go two in a row. Oh, boy. Right around the six. And the 10. See what happened on that triangle. Watch the three pin. Right to the side wall Ooh. and behind the six. Craig opposite a spare. Gets it right in the pocket and he'll take nine. Ooh, Ooh. Just clipped it. <laughs> a little smile from Craig. <laughs> Didn't want to hurt it. Just enough to get the spare. Craig is on his way to a pretty good uh, triple of his own, but Early. it doesn't appear like it's going to be enough today. Dave Arsenal has just been outstanding. Three fill on this spare, though. Yeah, I think that second string is going to come back to haunt Craig. It's 103, and unfortunately for him, well, he's throwing the 103. Dave was throwing the 169. How about this, Dan? That three fill on that spare for Dave Arsenal ended a streak. He had had nine marks in a row with fills of eight or higher. Uh, that's going to be that's tough to beat anybody bowling like that. And just a six box, 105 through seven, 390 right now. Ten box here, we have 400 with two boxes to go. I don't think <laughs> it's going to be a ten box. What do you think? <laughs> Got 
Got to hurry. Nope. There's the 10 box for 400. So Craig Abbott uh, looking at two open boxes here by Dave Arsenault, but trails by, well, let's see. We'll do the subtraction after the pins stop falling. It's a nine drop, so he trails by 57. This is the head pin, but leaves just the head pin standing, trying to make it two in a row. Oh, and that time. Maybe a little too much speed or didn't turn the ball over quite as much, but ball straightened out on him, left it to the right. No, Craig lost that one to the right. Waiting in the wings, our number three seed, Keith Digio from Amesbury, Massachusetts. He'll be making his first appearance here on Stars and Strikes next week. And he will get the winner of this match, which, barring a minor miracle now, will be Dave Arsenal. Dave needs only three pins here to close this out. And there it is, huh. with a strike. In a big way. Strike number five for Dave Arsenal. Just had to wait on the five pin. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Oof. Almost a double strike. Very unconventional way. The one and the three, or the one and the two, I didn't happen so fast with the last two to go down. Spare on strike. That is 19 marks for Dave Arsenal. He has a chance to do what uh, very few have done here, and that's get 20 marks in a match. Well, he won't do that, but how about a 153 wow. and a three-game total 438? Wow. That's a great triple for Dave Arsenal. And he cooled off for five boxes. <laughs> That's the scary thing. Six, seven, ten for Craig. Craig Abbott will be taking home the fifth place check for $100. Dave Arsenal will be moving on to face Keith Digio next week. We have not had too many people, Dan, throw back-to-back -back games totaling 322. No, we haven't. And that's what Dave Arsenal has done today. Just an outstanding performance. Over the last 20 boxes of this match, Dave Arsenal had 15 marks in those 20 boxes. A seven to wrap it up for Craig Abbott. He will wind up with a 359, but today is Dave Arsenal's day in a big way. 438 for Dave. We'll be back to talk to both bowlers and have our bonus ball contest after this timeout. Don't go away.
Everyone at Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire is very proud and excited to again be a major sponsor of Stars and Strikes. We feel that over the years, you, the bowling enthusiast, have become a very important part of our family at Rockingham. And as such, I promise that we will live up to our pledge that we will provide you the best service you have ever experienced. And if you're purchasing a new or used vehicle, at Rockingham, we pledge that we will beat any bona fide deal on any Toyota, any Dodge, or any Nissan anywhere in New England. So just remember, Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan on Route 97 in Salem, New Hampshire. The more you know about machinery, tools, or equipment, the more you'll shop here at Brentwood Machine Sales. Here you'll find a huge selection of the best woodworking and metalworking machinery available today at the best prices. The Powermatic 60 Jointer, 1797, Model 14 Oscillating Spindle Sander, 269.95, and the Model 66 Cabinet Maker Saw, just 2116. Discover a huge selection of machinery and tools, a full parts and service department, and the best prices around at Brentwood Machine Sales, Route 125 in tax-free Brentwood, New Hampshire. On the next Columbo. If he dies, we're going to have to know whether a heart attack killed him or whether it was just dissolving suture. The diagnosis is murder. The treatment is to kill again. He's been taking half credit for a project that you've been on since the very beginning. Probable murder weapon, no prints. And yeah, never are. Have any idea who did it? We don't know yet. Leonard Nimoy guest stars on Columbo. Today at 1 on Movie Watch. Welcome back to Park Place Lanes. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy. Well, we talked in the open, Dan, about uh, having five first-timers here on uh, Stars and Strikes. Dave Arsenault, though, with that experience over on the, uh, on the Skins program, and after he got loose there, he had a little, a little dry spell in game one, and then it was just unstoppable. Well, yeah, Craig came back at him the first game, got that lead, and, uh, but when somebody throws 438, mm. uh, what are the chances of you throwing 439? <laughs> I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to be up against Dave today. All right, let's meet both of our bowlers. First of all, a nice hand for Craig Abbott. Craig, come on up. We have the uh, fifth place check here for you for $100. Uh, turn around here so we can get you on camera. There you go, and uh, congratulations. Uh, it's, it's tough, as Dan said, when you got a guy as hot as Dave bowling against you. I bowled a heck of a series today, that's for sure, and that second game kind of got me behind by quite a few, so it's tough to come back after being down by more than 30 pins. Interesting, though. It seemed like you were very comfortable, very loose in game one. You had a great game one. Yeah, I probably started rushing a little bit in the second, tried to get hurried, so. But that's the way it is. Well, it's, we're glad that you uh, that you qualified for the show, and we know you had a long drive to get here. So hopefully uh, the ride will be a little shorter next time. Thanks very much. All right. All Thanks. Right. Craig, congratulations. Thanks very much. All right, Dave Arsenal now on lane 31 for our bonus ball contest. $40 on the line today. Let's see if we can uh, grab another winner here this afternoon. And Dave will knock down six. So it's up to you, Dan. Not a match for Louis Renzulli of Everett, Mass. Louis or Louis Renzulli from Everett, Mass says, nice show. Please enter my contest number of seven. Sorry, not a match, Lewis, but uh, we will send you a consolation gift. Dave, step right on in here. The hand is for you. Uh, boy, if you hadn't had those five, uh, those five open boxes in game...